if f and z are differentiable functions in close interval 0 1 satisfying f 0 is equal to 2 is equal to g 1, g 0 is equal to 2 and f 1 is equal to 6 then for some c belongs to open 0 1 g 0 is equal to 2 part 2 part 0 is equal to 0 0 hai acha fir se padhte hain chaliye if f and g are differentiable function in 0 1 satisfying f 0 is equal to 2 is equal to g 1 z 0 is equal to 0 and f 1 is equal to 6 then for some c belongs to open 0 1 First, f dash c is equal to z dash c. Second, f dash c is equal to 2 g dash c. Third, 2 f dash c is equal to z dash c. Fourth, 2 f dash c is equal to 3 z dash c. Now come to the solution of this question. By LMVT, If F is differentiable in A B, which is open, and continuous in close A B, then there exists at least one C in open AB such that F dash C is equal to F B minus F A upon b minus a. Similarly, g dash c is equal to g b minus g a upon b minus a. Dividing f dash c upon g dash c when we divide b minus a cancel out so we get f dash c upon g dash c as f b minus f a upon g b minus g a. This is actually Cauchy mean value theorem and question in based on that very theorem. But as per our syllabus, we treat it as question of Lagrangian mean value theorem. Rest is the placing the data which is as follows. This is Cauchy mean value theorem which is a particular case of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Since Cauchy mean value is not given in syllabus, so we use Lagrange's mean value theorem. To get the rest question, we use the given data which is as follows. We have f0 is equal to 2, f1 is equal to 6, z0 is equal to 0, z1 is equal to 2. Achcha. Achcha, achcha. We have set this up. Data tick sana. What can I say? We have f0 is equal to 2, f1 is equal to 6, z0 is equal to 0 and z1 is equal to 2. Therefore, treating 
b as 1 and a as 0 we have f dash c upon g dash c is equal to f1 minus f0 upon g1 minus g0 which is 6 minus 2 upon 2 minus 0 it holds f dash c upon g dash c is equal to 2 implies f dash c is equal to 2 g dash This is the solution of the previous question. Thanks.